Meantime, the federal government has been advised to ensure proper reinvestment of monies saved from the removal of fuel subsidy. The call was made by a professor of finance, Babatin de Afolabi, at the Federal University Oye Ikiti. Professor Afolabi said the removal of fuel subsidy has led to a corresponding increase in the prices of commodities, hence making survival difficult for most families in the country. He advised leaders uh, to promote tourism, develop infrastructure, place a restriction on new loans while developing the agricultural potentials of the nation. The continued payment of subsidy on payment has undoubtedly been a serial drain on our revenue to the tune of trillions of naira yearly. The most intriguing part of the story is that the subsidy payment do not only fluctuate, but the whole process was full of controversy and corruption reading. The recent stoppage of subsidy payments by the new administration is in the right direction, is the right step in the right direction, which will bear good fruits in the long run. Factors that induces external debts are limited foreign exchange results, Currency depreciation, high debt, debt service cost, vulnerability of exchange rate fluctuations, limited revenue generation, inadequate infrastructure development, political and economic instability, corruption and governance issues, debt overhang, limited debt restructuring options, and global economic uncertainty. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.